Let's talk about what's going on with Nas next. This dude here, man. Hey, man, roll the intro. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Powers. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, thank you for clicking the video. We're about to get right into it. Look at the headline on your screen. It's Nas smoking angel dust. Because, listen, somebody might say I'm really disrespecting Nas by even posing that question and putting it on the screen. But Nas is disrespecting the fuck out of me and hip-hop by associating himself with this dude, Lil Nas X. First of all, flat out, I'm not getting into any ancillary issues right now. I'm talking about the dude's music. Garbage. Song, Old Town Road, complete garbage. I did support the dude because the Rednecks came after him and was like, yo, this ain't a country song. Yeah, it's a country song. It's a country hip-hop song. This shit was whack, though. I got a white friend in his 40s, not a hip-hop head whatsoever, said that was his little niece's favorite song that's how he knew about the song so that's how you know this shit is fucking whack when you got a six-year-old white girl running around singing every lyric to the junk that's garbage it's not hip-hop so why is nas on stage at the grammys with this dude and then why did nas even agree to do the song the video popped up on my timeline i clicked it <sighs> the shit hurt my heart so the question is is nas gonna get canceled by me Nah, I'm not canceling Nas right now. I'm giving Nas a pass on this one. Now, Nas, I rolled with you on the Jay-Z thing. Clearly, you was the better MC, and you dogged him with that ether. I rolled with you on the Kalisha, all through the allegations that she put out there. Tried to muddy your name. I wasn't going for that. Even when you did the commercial for Hennessy, I'm like, uh, not really the best look, but fuck it. Get your money. You probably drink it anyway, so it's truth and advertising. I even... Stayed down with you after you made that bullshit ass song, Uchi Wally. So Nas, while I may not be canceling you right now, homie, you on the watch list. Come on. Be better than that. Why? Give me the answer. What did the check look like? Because if the check was something stupid, the check was stupid. I can't fault you. If somebody gave me $15 million right now, I'll jump on the track with Vanilla Ice. So you give me 150000 right now. I'll do a whole album <laughs> with Vanilla Ice. So if the if the bag was crazy, yeah, I could see it. Other than that, Nas, come on. Hey, real talk. I'm not going to blame you if you don't know who this guy right here is. That's Jay Electronica. 2007, he dropped something fire. Sounded like mixtape underground type stuff. Dude came through with the verses. Hardly any choruses whatsoever. Very, very high level Mensa type lyrics. This dude was dropping. Incredible. Got with Just Blaze and came out with Exhibit A, B, and C. Classic. This dude, man, I used to mess around with the Who the Fuck is J Electronica mixtape. That was my joint. And so many others. Shiny Suit Theory. Better in Tune. The joint that he got with Jay-Z. End up hooking up with Rock Nation. He used to ride with Nas for a minute. He hooked up with Jay-Z, signed Rock Nation, mess around with Erica Badu, had a very interesting life, even was dating one of them Rothschild girls. Some people might say Illuminati. But the dude just didn't drop, he hasn't dropped an album yet. This dude is 43 years old. Should I give a damn that after all this time, he's going to bless us with an album? He came out last week, said he was going to hit you with, with the album in, in 40 days. I think he said the album was coming. He said that he, it took him 40 days to record it. So this is all new, fresh shit. None of that old, stale J Electronica shit, which by the way, is better than 99% of shit that's ever been released. People say, how can anybody put J Electronica in their top 10 lyricists of all time? He don't got the body of work because I'm listening to lyrics. That's why. And ain't too many people better than this dude. So you can miss me with that. He don't got a big enough catalog shit. This is all opinion based, but my opinion Dude is one of the better lyricists that we've ever seen in this game. And you're damn right. I want to hear what an album is going to sound like from Jay Electronica in 2020, even though he's 43 years old, about to drop this thing. When it do drop, we're going to talk about it right here. Probably won't play too much of it because I don't want to get copyright strike the fuck off YouTube. But yeah, we're going to talk about that album when it drop. If it drop. 
So I saw Justin Bieber do a performance on SNL recently, and I'm not a Justin Bieber fan at all, but the shit for me was dope. Name of the song was Yummy. The whole performance was off the hook, and I said what I said, but that wasn't even the craziest part about the performance. The craziest part was this dusty ass mustache right here, because the mustache does not remind me of an international pop star. It reminds me of that dude, Randy, that straps your kids into the rickety ass rides at the county fair. It looks like Wayne was able to get baby's tongue out of his throat just long enough to record a whole ass album. And on my next video, I'm going to review that joint. If I could stand to listen to the whole damn thing. I had a dream. I was thrown. No diamonds on no gold. Sad story I was told. Oh. oh no. Oh hell nah. Nope. Nope. Will not be reviewing that album. Scratch that. Sorry I brought it up. What the fuck is going on? Worst part is that the roots had to be an accessory to that heinous ass display. Anyway, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.